Hey there, welcome to day 227 of our BU 365 Day Challenge. Do one thing every day that improves us. Sharon Hornell from here, and today we're going to be talking about perfect timing and the My Lifeline exercise, your Lifeline exercise. We're going to add that to the area of confidence today. We're going to add confidence to our Lifeline. We've been working on the Lifeline every month this year. We've done physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, contribution, and this month we're going to add confidence. Next month, we're going to add communication to our lifeline. By the time we do that, we are going to start to see all of the different interrelationships between the different areas and aspects of our life and the major events we've had in our life. So what's our card today? It's about perfect timing. Grab my magnifying glass. Let's see what it has to say. It says, everything I need comes to me at the perfect time. Everything I need comes to me at the perfect time. Now, I will admit, sometimes it doesn't feel that way in the, when things happen and in the present moment. It doesn't always feel like perfect timing, but when we think about it after the fact, we start to see why it was perfect and why things happened that were actually in our favor. Backside says, I ask for help, I tell life what I want, and then I allow it to happen. So that's the whole law of attraction. Uh, know what you want, envision it coming to you, and then let it come into your life. Oftentimes, we know what we want, but we're thinking about what we don't want all the time or what's happening in our life right now, and that blocks and prevents us from getting the thing that we want most. So that is our card for today. Now the lifeline exercise, our action item today is to add the area of contribution, I don't know if you can see this, or contribution, uh, confidence to our lifeline. This is my original lifeline exercise graphic. It's not awesome, but it, it, it does the trick. It shows that we write the, day, the year we were born and then the present year and then an arrow continuing on because we don't plan on you know leaving this planet anytime soon so we want it to continue moving forward so on the lifeline exercise we just highlight what are big events big experiences big things that have happened to us in our life you can see i've done that here and then we graph on it um like zero flat line, like when I had my sudden cardiac arrest, I was below the line with respect to physical well-being because I wasn't here anymore for a few days. So, my alarm. Uh, and then we were going to just graph how do I feel, how was my confidence when this event happened? What was my confidence like when I had my sudden cardiac arrest? It was, it was at zero or below, right? Because I was struggling in that time of my life. So we're going to do that today. We're going to think about and look at those events that we've probably already created. If you've done the Lifeline exercise before, you've got those events. And I'm adding events to mine all the time. Something will come up when we are working on a different area or aspect of our life, and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this experience. You know, oh, that time that I got in a fight with my boss and ended up getting fired. I might have totally blocked that out, but something in the different areas or aspects of my life remind me of it, and I put it on my timeline. And then I think about, well, how does that, and how, and where was I in the different areas and aspects of my life for that event? So that is our topic for today. Add confidence to your lifeline exercise. Any questions about that? Hit me up. If you're just joining us and you haven't done that before and you need a little more information on how to do that, just ask, because I can explain it to you in just a couple of minutes. Have an awesome day and I will be with you tomorrow.